<laughs> oh bless me um I was standing by one of these new hearing seeing uh lampo <laughs> oh gosh and I've got uh sneezes hello lamppost testing testing one two three testing can you can you hear me Roger or Peter, Peter, anybody? <coughs> Hi. Yes, we have a series of uh, the lampposts. Anyway, I'll be able to see your dog. <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> I'll be able to see your dog um, doing a poop. And probably by the time it's finished. Oh, oh bless me. You'll have the uh, the park rangers on you. I mean the thing is you should just do like I do. Your dog does a jump. If you like me walking around in circles, just note where it's done it. When you put your boots back on, go and kick it into the side. I mean, it's all meant to go back. It's, it's not meant. Come on, Ebs. Come on, Ebby. <coughs> oh, bless me. It's not meant to kind of be put into plastic bags and put God knows where. This planet is made up of a recycled bodies, trees, oh, Ebby, come on, Ebby, oh, do you know what, I don't know what's the matter with her, well, the thing is, when we came down the road, <coughs> oh, goodness, we had a Truman rain, it was just wonderful, I do love the Truman rain, where it just kind of falls down in a circle um, and then you look and there isn't any more rain beyond that it's very very strange well we've just had that and maybe she's feeling a bit spoofed who knows Willow is still there wonderful and uh, wow that's uh, that's uh, I don't know I don't know what half of them are. I just think, oh, they're lovely. And I do find it funny when you hear people going on. I saw the lesser spotted um, tit bunting today. And you're like, oh my lord, did you? And I see Ebby has probably gone home. We are one, we are one, we are one. I suppose it's just like she's 16, she's getting old and she probably likes the idea of going for a walk. Um, but it seems to be the slightest of things can uh, spoof her and make her want to return to her nest. Now can you see the beautiful bo blossoms on this chestnut? Look at this. Oh, it's gorgeous. We're going to have conkers the go go. And you know, if you stand under the chestnut and just look up, it is just incredible. I just think they're the most amazing. Oh, I love all trees. Where is she, honey? Where is she? She's just standing down there. It's like she doesn't want to come onto the park. Come on, Ebs! I walk down that way again and get her. <clears throat> Keep my boots on for now. I'm uh, going to see. Keep an eye on my grandchildren again this morning for an hour, or six of my seventeen grandchildren. Um, so it's not going to be a big walk anyway. 
and then <clears throat> Mustaf has the day off today so that's kind of gorgeous I've still got my boots on and uh, I might just come for a, a barefoot walk over here later although it is tempting to just take them off now and just get on with it oh you see the plane uh, bless it's kind of Uh, flying through that mist must be awful here she comes come on Abby good girlie I don't know hello lovely willow yeah this Truman rain is just incredible hello Come on then. Are you having a lovely dance again? Oh, you know, you're just amazing, you are. Just totally amazing. Hello, Ebs. You came, come to say hello now. Good girl. Tail's going, so she's obviously happy now. Oh, did you hear that? That's what it was, I think. It's like a sound like a bomb going off or a cannon being fired somewhere in the distance <clears throat> I'm only saying you just come stop being so silly I need to get out for a walk oh gosh yes look at this tree it's all coming uh, it's all coming back to life, how magnificent. This tree is always full of pigeons. And they leave their feathers everywhere. It's so beautiful. I just love that noise. I can't do the noise, but uh, probably because I'm not a pigeon. Like I've never heard a pigeon speak. But I do like that noise because my grandfather <clears throat> on my father's side so this is the mining side of the family um, Scott's miners uh, he had a pigeon loft at the bottom of his garden his garden was like an allotment <clears throat> long and narrow and uh, at the top near the house was like a small patch of grass <clears throat> a very small lawn um, around which there would be like snapdragons and uh, daisies and oh, lots of different kind of plants um, and then from their back it was all vegetables uh, rhubarb yeah wonderful um, and right at the very bottom was a pigeon coop and my granddad he loved his pigeons yeah and I was always amazed that they could uh, take them away somewhere and let them go and they would always come home there's something uh, magnificent about a pigeon Oh, you see now, I just really want to take my boots off and just walk, but I've put on good trousers today. Do you know what bollocks to the good trousers, Rose? For a goodness sake! What the fuck's wrong with you, girlie? Just get your boots off, now. Yes, that's how they talk. Uh, well, not everybody, but that's how uh, one of my sisters speaks. Uh, and her children because they're in Northern Ireland I hate calling it Northern Ireland it's just freaking Ireland you know what I mean guys right, here we go you know the thing is <clears throat> if you're a barefoot walker it feels more alien having your boots on you know what I mean and it's just so lovely 
get them into the bag, put them. Wow, that was a magnificent sun. Put them away like that. That bird is just beautiful. And look at the sun coming through there, eh? Delightful. Right, so here we go. Oh, that's better. <clears throat> it doesn't matter how gravelly it is. Once your feet um, do this for a short while, um, you might notice two or three spots on your feet, normally around the edges. Um, I found it happening at the edge of my, let's see down from the little toe, here, here, here. Uh, a hard pad under there um, and in fact every time I went barefoot walking and pressed down on that it was a real kind of oh um, and that lasted for about the first three months <coughs> and then it just went and I don't feel it anymore now but I am so glad I managed to barefoot walk through the winter and in and through the sun, the snow. Hello, beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's that. Uh, and there's just something lovely about barefoot walking. I mean, it really does make you want to take it to the next level and just have some space where you can actually walk round. Totally naked. Yeah. Seem to be getting big trains every morning now. <coughs> Dear, that tree looks like it's had it. Beautiful. And yesterday, it was funny because uh, there was me in the morning. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a glorious day. <clears throat> it was absolutely abysmal all day. In fact, I think I'm one of the few that actually saw the sunshine and the blue skies. And that's what's lovely about coming out um, very early, <clears throat> around sunrise and sunset times. Very early or very late. Um, because, that's something attached to my foot. Uh, because um, you almost get an opportunity to see the sky. Um, before it's it's blotted out or uh, geo-engineered to become filled with rain clouds that don't actually produce any rain uh, worth speaking about. It's just so beautiful, isn't it? And you know, when you go to Ireland... Ireland is the most, well it used to be, I think they've put a lot of big roads in Ireland now, <clears throat> it used to be just the most amazing place, uh, 40 shades of green and no mistake and I think there's an undercount there, yeah more like 400 shades of green um, and oh, it's just the most breathtaking country really. I see this is beautifully wet, so my uh, my toes are just really, really enjoying the rain. And of course this rain, hopefully, uh, is natural, um, which will be doing my feet a power of good, especially as the ground has already been bathed in hormone D from the sun. So I shall be drawing that up through my feet. It's amazing, isn't it? The human body is just incredible. And uh, yeah, while I'm talking about 
feet and uh, drawing things up through the feet. Um, Thy Always Seek um, is a channel. Um, I think her name's Dee Smith. She's very, you know, <clears throat> uh, good at what she does. And um, she has been talking about the chakra system. <clears throat> the fact that the root chakra is actually been between the ankles and the feet. And finding this um, uh, a tablet or a piece of artwork or uh, recording uh, by carving in stone or something has been found. Um, which actually says, mentions the chakras. And is saying that the first chakra, the root chakra, is actually between the ankles. And I must admit, when I was doing Reiki and learning, or any time I've done about the chakras, I've never understood why the first chakra is kind of in the, uh, well, lower abdomen, ass, ass kind of place. Um, because... When you're walking barefoot, you are connecting with Earth and drawing that energy up. And um, anyway, yeah, so you might like to check out her, Thy Always Seek. And it's uh, a recent video, yesterday I think it was. And it's something about um, the Egyptians and the chakra systems. Which is... Uh, Wonderful. Right, guys. <clears throat> I know I haven't done a very long video, but uh, I need to go. Need to get home and get myself ready for my day. Uh, I've got a lovely day, kind of <clears throat> mapped out in my mind. Uh, that doesn't mean that that day is going to actually happen. Um, but I do have a good feeling about today. A very, very good feeling. Um, I can feel it in my stomach and normally when I get a feeling there, um, I'm on the right page, shall we say, or heading in the right direction. Although well, there's no such thing as a wrong direction. And I mean, aren't these flowers just beautiful? You see, I don't know what these are either. Oh, it's really hot here got another hot spot. <clears throat> I don't really know what these flowers are but I do know they're absolutely beautiful and this whole bank all the way down will just be in full blossom soon and of course this is where my grandson Alfie when he was like two and a half I brought him here and uh, I was watching the uh, the woodpeckers feeding their chick on a tree down there and I, I just looked away for 20 seconds and Alfie was gone and I I was like oh my lord where is he well he had walked straight through all of this and was at the back by the railway line thank god you know the fence is there um so yeah <sighs> it was a nightmare it was like I'm going to find him, I just kept repeating, I'm going to find him, I'm going to find him. And suddenly it's like everything sticks out at you like... <clears throat> uh, well, for example, there was a man sitting under uh, the, the tree there. Um, and he was drinking alcohol. And, you know, I'd kind of seen him. Um, but suddenly, in my mind, the, the kind of potential is that He's a, a child molester who has got poison in there and he's going to give it to, you know. And like, oh my God, there'll be great big gaps in the, in the fencing and uh, a high-speed train will come along or he will get stung by all of the... Yeah. So you just keep focused on the good and try and chase those thoughts out your head. And there is something so magnificent about retrieving something that you thought was lost. Absolutely beautiful. And I find that sometimes on my work desk. Not that I really have a work desk anymore. 
but I used to and it was like organised chaos and uh, there is just something totally delightful about finding something on your desk that you believed was gone forever. Hello David, my old son. How are you? It's beautiful. And that seagull has actually got a chunk taken out of one of its wings. I've seen it quite a few times. I don't think it's the one that comes and talks to me. I have one that just flies over my head and just keeps going whip, 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 whip. Anyway guys, time to go home, so keep looking up, I love you all, see, and now it's going dark, this is the thing, if you want to see blue sky guys, you've got to get out of bed 5 o'clock in the morning and have a look at them while you can, do a, a touch of sun gazing, remember in the first 40 minutes after sunrise, check out your UV levels online. Uh, do it barefoot if possible. It gives you a double whammy. Right. And uh, remember to enjoy life, live it. It's exactly why you are here. So from uh, Abby and Honey and my feet, it's goodbye till we meet again. Bye. You ready to go home now, girls? I've got to go and be a granny. <laughs>